it's always good seeing you. Uh, firstly, uh, your initial thoughts on this uh, European Court of Human Rights ruling. Has justice been served, do you think? Well, you know, uh, the European Court of Human Rights cannot enforce its judgments. Uh, the only way to enforce them is by the Council of Ministers, um, of, you know, which consists of all these states, and they're not going to enforce it. Um, and also, the decisions of the court are only enforceable, if they are at all, for the applicants for this judgment. So the point is that this is a very, very important decision. It condemns Greece's pushback policy, which is not just in this case, but against asylum seekers, against other migrants, and this egregious case in which 11 Afghans died, including children, it has a tremendous, certainly a symbolic effect. And it's interesting that if you look at the European court documents, it indicates there that these decisions, and there have been many decisions against Greece in the European Court of Human Rights for various human rights violations, that the court claims, even though they're not enforceable, that Greece has changed some of its procedures. And many of these cases don't involve migrants. They involve um, claims by Greek nationals uh, on violations of human rights in prison and otherwise. And th that's what the court says. But on this one, it doesn't seem that the bringing of these cases has really changed the, you know, the Greek practice. And that's really what needs to happen. Sad, here. indeed. I'm curious about your thoughts on what kind of precedent this ruling sets. I mean, do you think it changes <laughs> Greece's approach to refugees? I mean, the country clearly does not want refugees coming to its shores. But does being backed into a corner, so to speak, aggravate the situation? Does this ruling aggravate the situation? No, I think it has a tremendous public relations and symbolic meaning. Um, and uh, it's very, very important. I think the human rights organizations around the world feel that this is a very significant decision. Um, and, you know, it adds arguably to the body of international law, of EU law, of EU practice. And, um, and hopefully the impact of it will be that in the future, Greece will change its policies. But we've seen, as I said, that's kind of the optimism part. The pessimism part is that there are numerous applications and cases about these practices, and we still see these kinds of actions. Uh, migrants being surrounded by numerous boats and Hellenic, they're not in this case, Hellenic Coast Guard, all these cases, these are egregious cases, but, but hopefully it'll have that impact. But as far as getting the uh, payment, of the 330,000 euros uh, ever is ever going to happen, I'd say the likelihood of that is zero. There's no chance that's ever going to happen. But it's out there, and it's in the, in the public, and that's very important in a very legitimate court that it's a respected court. But unfortunately, the court structure makes it very, very hard to get justice for these, uh, for these very, very uh, unfortunate uh, victims of this terrible, terrible treatment. Mm. We'd love to leave it there, Professor. Always good seeing you. This is Mark Merowitz there from the State University of New York. Thank you. <laughs>